Hello, we are here at Denago Experience Center and we are filming the installation guidelines for the Denago Fat Tire Bike. This process will be the same for step through or top two models. Unbox the bike and remove. Stabilize the bike on the floor. We suggest keeping the rear wheel packaging on the bike to help with stability. It's time to unpack the small parts box. You will find all the parts and tools needed to do the assembly. You're ready to get started. Assembly step one. Remove the top cap bolt and cardboard sleeve. Leave the black washers in place. Next, lift the handlebar up to the ride ready position. Place the stem on the steer tube. Place the top cap on top of the stem and steer tube and insert the bolt and secure using your Denago 5mm multi tool. Next, secure and tighten the two bolts on the back of the stem. This is the front end alignment. Following, adjust the angle position of your handlebars, loosen slightly the four front bolts, adjust the handlebar angle, keeping it center and evenly secure, and tighten the four bolts at your desired riding position. Use the logo and markings on the handlebar to help. Our next step is monitor installation. Remove the bolts, Place the clamps on either side of the stem and return the bolts and secure. It's encouraged to leave the bolts slightly loose so you can adjust the angle for best visibility. Next, install the front headlight. There is a bracket off the stem faceplate. Insert the bolt and light and secure. Last, add the front white reflector to either side of the monitor and secure. Step 2. Front Wheel Installation Remove the black plastic disc on the front wheel. Note, sometimes the front axle nut gets stuck in here. If missing, look here first. Next, remove the front yellow disc block. Next, remove the black block in between the fork plates. Grab your front wheel, lift the front end of the bike, and slide the wheel while lowering the bike and fork onto the wheel aligning the axle and dropouts. Make sure the washers are on the outside of the fork blades. You must align both the wheel and the disc rotor into the disc brake secure and tighten the axle nuts using your Denago wrench. Place the kickstand down so the bike is stable and able to stand on its own. Step 3. Seat and seat post adjustments. Open the seat clamp up and remove the seat. Grab the small pouch of grease that came with the small parts box. Apply a small amount of grease to the seat tube. Insert the seat to ensure it's always inserted below the minimum insertion mark. Secure quickly seat clamp. Add rear reflector to seat post. Step 4. Pedal Assembly Grab your pedals from the small parts box. Apply grease to the threads. Each pedal and each side of the crank is marked with a matching sticker. Grab the R pedal, right side or drive side, side with gears. Insert the pedal and pedal backwards until threaded on. Now use your Denago wrench to secure and tighten. Now go to the non-drive side or left side of the bike. Pedal backwards until threaded on. Now use your Denago wrench to secure and tighten. Always check to ensure the pedals are tight before riding. Step 5. Fender Installation Feed the fender from back of the bike to front through the fork. Align the bracket on the fender with the bolt hole on the back side of the fork and secure with bolt. Next, secure the support arms on both sides of the fenders. There are brackets on the bottom of the forks to secure. Next, do a full safety inspection as highlighted in the back of your quick start guide. Spin the front wheel, spin the rear wheel, check all the bolts to make sure they're secure and tightened, make sure your battery is fully charged, and enjoy the ride.